Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I am uh, in my home studio again today, otherwise known as the kitchen, the best light in the house. Uh, and I've got a review for you today, and it's not a drone. Uh, this is a little different, but it was interesting to me, and I'm hoping that it will, it will also be interesting to you. Uh, I had a company contact me and uh, ask me if I was interested in reviewing a trail cam. Well, trail cams are interesting. If you know what a trail cam is, uh, it is a, a camera that you can set up in a situation where you want to see wildlife. Uh, say you were a deer hunter and you wanted to know where the deer trails were. You could set this camera up someplace where you thought they were at and it has motion detection on it and will take pictures or short videos uh, when there's movement. Well, one of the things that's happened to me recently is uh, I found some raccoon scat in my backyard, and my backyard is fenced. Uh, so I kind of thought it'd be really cool if I could get some pictures of those raccoons. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to or not, but I thought, hey, a trail cam is the way to do it. So uh, the folks at uh, Cam Park sent me this, uh, this trail cam. I'm going to stand off to the side here so I can show it to you. It's, uh, it's available on, uh, on Amazon, but I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. So let's do a quick unboxing, and then I'll get it set up in my backyard. I'll leave it running for a few days and nights, and we'll just see what we can see. Now I know for sure, we may not catch those raccoons, but I know I've got a lot of squirrels in the neighborhood, so we're liable to see a few squirrels. And I'm wondering about the neighborhood cat population as well. So uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's quit messing around. Let's get this thing out of the box. Okay, first things first, let's take a look at the box here. So uh, again, at the top, uh, Cam Park, it says there T85 is the model. Uh, talks about the trigger speed, so three tenths of a second. IP66 waterproof. I didn't realize this. You can get a Wi-Fi connection to it, so uh, I presume you may be able to work it with an app. Uh, we'll find out. Uh, and uh, let's see, nothing. Uh, well, it does talk about the fact that it will uh, uh, operate at uh, minus 20 centigrade and up to up to 60 degrees centigrade. I, I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but uh, in any case, then on the other side here, this is where there's a lot more information. Talks about the uh, image resolution, you know, so I'm sure the higher the resolution, the, obviously it's going to use more battery, etc. Uh, but uh, various video resolution, from 720p to 1296p, even 480p if you just wanted standard definition. Uh, but it does have an infrared IR LED. Uh, that is so that you can get those pictures at night, right? 75 foot uh, trigger distance, uh, which, you know, so it'll trigger at something movement 75 feet away. That's good to know. Uh, and the IR, so that is how far away the infrared will reach for night, is 20 meters. Uh, again, that uh, trigger speed uh, and with the things we've talked about already with the uh, uh, waterproof, IP66 waterproof. So uh, so let's, uh, let's open the box up now. Alrighty, so here it is, uh, user manual right on top. And wow, that looks like a uh, pretty useful uh, user manual there. Oh, and it does have an app here. There's the uh, QR codes for the app, so very cool. This is going to be an interesting piece. Of course, it's in multiple languages here. It looks like German and English. So, uh, yeah, enough of that. Let's take a look at the camera itself. So. Here it is. Let me pull this guy out. Uh, pull it out of the bag here. And there it is. Looks like there's uh, plenty of stuff we're going to have to pull off here. But uh, uh, here is the lens. Uh, I would assume a lot of these are movement detectors and uh, the, uh, the infrared lights, I presume. Uh, we're going to have to learn more about it. And uh, yeah, so you got a quarter 20 connection there, quarter 20 connection there, so you actually could put it on a tripod. 
Uh, but if you look here, these mounts, you can run a strap through there. So typically what you would do is you would strap it to a tree. Uh, and then I can see that we can open it up here. So I don't even know what all is involved there. Yeah, so look at that. So there you have the controls. And uh, yeah, it tells you, you know, before you start, uh, you know, all the protective films, etc. And uh yeah, so it looks like there's some settings that have to be done there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that looks like it's all pretty straightforward. Uh, so we'll get a, a memory card in there and uh, and go from there. And I like this card. Yeah, it's German on the back. So, yeah, you can, you can just leave that card in there uh, so that you don't forget things when you're out. Uh, when you're out in the woods. So let's strap that thing back closed. And let's see what else is in the box here. So yeah, it looks like there's a number of things. Oh cool, it's got a, uh, yeah, it's got a mount here. Uh, and I'm not going to pull all this stuff out, but there's there's lag screws, etc. So you could, you could screw this plate into the side of the tree or something like that. Uh, and then this is, uh, this mount uh, you could use to uh, to, uh, to mount the camera to to this plate. So uh, in my case, I, I'm very likely going to use a strap. Let's see if there's anything else under here. If I can pull this out. I do not believe there is, but no. Oh, hold it. There is. There is another. Uh, yeah. So just as I thought, I wondered about that. Pull that out. Here's a strap, and that's what you would use to uh, to strap it to uh, around a tree, etc. Oh, and they do include a uh, a, a USB cable as well. Okay, one of the first uh, things that I thought of is how to uh, where, where the batteries go. Right, you got to get some batteries in it, and that is underneath this compartment right here. So you literally pull down on this. So once you get that uh, battery compartment cover off, you see here that it holds eight AA batteries right there. So we'll get those inserted, and uh, and then there's some setup to do. Uh, once you turn it on, you, you have to give it uh, day, date, time, etc. And then right at the bottom here is where you would uh, insert your, uh, let me see if I can get that right under the camera, right there is where you would in, insert a full size SD card. And uh, that is the, uh, the USB port right there that you'd hook the USB cable up to. So, uh, so let's get this bad boy fired up and uh, let me get it set up outside. Okay, I've got the trail cam all set up here, and what I did was uh, I just strapped it to the downspout on my house, and I have it mounted fairly low because the critters that I'm looking for are probably going to be pretty low to the ground. So uh, I'm going to open it up and fire it up, and uh, and we'll see what we get. This is just a close-up shot of how I have it mounted here with Velcro straps. Hey, okay, so I've got the trail cam mounted to the uh, downspout here on the side of my house, and I have it set up fairly low uh, because the critters that we're looking for will probably be uh, low to the ground. And uh, so uh, let me show you how I strapped this on here. I just used a Velcro strap and uh, strapped it right to the downspout. That worked really well. So basically all we need to do now is uh, open it up, turn this switch to the on position, and it should be ready to go. And now we just leave it for uh, a couple of days and uh, let's see what we capture. Hey, so you saw how I mounted the Cam Park T85 trail camera to the downspout uh, out in my yard. Uh, and that view, uh, I really didn't, didn't even see any squirrels nor those raccoons that I was uh, looking for. Uh, so I moved it then uh, onto my fence and we got some uh, video and some still pictures of some gray squirrels. Uh, but I, I will show you the, you know, the samples of uh, what I caught in the yard, me out mowing the lawn and some of the uh, night shots that it took as well. So we'll have examples of both the still pictures and video. Let's roll that now.
Hey, so I was really happy with the performance uh, of this trail cam. Uh, it did everything that I needed, and I'm definitely going to use it. Uh, we're going into winter now, but next summer I'm going to have it out there to see what kind of critters are running around in my backyard because I know for sure that I've got some raccoons out there once in a while and I'm sure probably neighborhood cats and who knows what else and then of course always uh, there are those uh, there are those gray squirrels running around uh, but uh, just to point out you know they give you a good strap to that you can use to attach the camera to a tree or something like that if you're out in the woods it also has quarter 20 mounts on the bottom and on the back but you know what I did I just grabbed a little piece of uh, velcro strip and that's what I used to both strap it to my fence and to that downspout out there worked pretty good so uh, you know you can you can run a strap uh, through the back of it and it works quite well yeah so uh, overall I was pretty satisfied uh, with this camera and it's going to come in handy I uh, I appreciate the people at Cam Park sending it to me for a review and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little short uh, review of it. I am by no means a professional on trail cams, so you saw just what an amateur could do with the thing. Uh, however, uh, if you are looking to purchase one, I will put my affiliate link, my Amazon affiliate link down below. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Most of all, I appreciate you taking the few minutes to uh, watch this video. And of course, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, the uh, Cam Park T85 uh, Wildlife Trail Cam. Pretty uh, handy little unit. All right, see ya.